things first. I'm the realist. Hello and welcome to NaNoWriMo Day 14. The word count goal for today is 23,333 words. My word count is currently at 20,001 words still because I'm a terrible person and I didn't write yesterday and I feel terrible and I don't want to talk about it. So let's just move on to my topic for today. So today I want to talk about setting goals because I love goals. I am constantly setting goals for myself. I am a pretty ambitious person. Slytherin, hello, what's up? But it took me a while to kind of figure out the art of setting goals. So I thought I would share some of my thoughts on this topic with you today. So first of all, you can't set goals for yourself that rely on another person. Or, I mean, you can, but you shouldn't, because then you are giving up the control. For example, you would not want to set a goal for yourself of, I want to get a literary agent this year. That's not completely within your power. Instead, you would want to set a goal more along the lines of, I want to revise and polish my novel until it is the best it can be, and then I want to query this list of 20 literary agents that I have researched and I feel would be a good fit for my novel. It's essentially the same goal. You know, the goal is to query literary agents and hopefully get a yes, but that first goal gives gives all the power away. If you don't get a yes, then you don't succeed. But with that second goal, even if you don't get a yes, you still did everything you wanted to. You did everything within your power, you did everything you could, you still get to count that as a win. Now aside from setting goals that don't rely on other people, you also want to set goals that are attainable. It's not about what you can do ideally, but rather what you can do actually. If you're in school and you have a part-time job and you have family and friends and other obligations like that, you probably shouldn't set a goal for yourself to read a book every single day because that is ridiculous. You can definitely set a goal to read every day. Maybe read for an hour each day or read 50 pages each day. Just don't pile it on. A good goal is challenging yet attainable. I personally really like time block goals like write for an hour each day, read for an hour each day, study Korean for an hour each day, and watching K-dramas does not count. When you want to set a goal for yourself, the first thing you do is figure out in very broad terms what you want. I want to learn Korean. Okay, great. That is so open-ended and just like, where do we even begin? So then I ask myself, you know, what does successfully learning Korean look like in a more quantifiable way? Watching K-dramas without captions and still being able to follow along? Passing the test of proficiency in Korean language at like the first level? Being able to read The Hunger Games in Korean? Once you've determined exactly what success would look like for you, then you start to break that down into a daily goal or a weekly goal or just little goal milestones. I want to be able to read and write in Korean. I want to memorize these 20 vocabulary words. I want to learn how to express that I want something in Korean. That is a vital survival Korean phrase, by the way. Just FYI, memorize that. It'll save your life later. And finally, you want to record your progress. Keep a calendar or a plan or a journal. And even if it doesn't seem like you're making much progress day by day, if you keep a journal that you can go back and look at, you'll start to see it. And that is why NaNoWriMo is so fantastic. I know, I've been talking about Korean for so long, you forgot this was a NaNoWriMo video. NaNoWriMo takes this big daunting task of write a novel and it breaks it down for you. You have that quantifiable success of writing 50,000 words in 30 days. Then it's broken down into a day-by-day -day goal of writing 1,667 words. You can find support and motivation from others attempting the same crazy goal. You can track your progress and watch it add up, watch those milestones fly by. We're about to hit the midpoint, and just think, 14 days ago, we had nothing. Look at what we've done in just two weeks. And just imagine what we could do if we used this same strategy to attempt other
other goals in our lives. That's what's so great about NaNoWriMo, okay? It's not just about writing a rough draft. It's about teaching yourself how to set good goals and how to work toward accomplishing them one day at a time. If you can do NaNoWriMo, you can do anything you put your mind to, whether that is revising your novel or learning Korean or becoming the president of the United States of America. I actually have not yet tried that last one, but I think I could if I wanted to. Though it does kind of seem like the suckiest job ever, so maybe I'll pass on that one. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video today. I hope you guys are having a great night, getting some writing done, and yeah. I will see you tomorrow with a new update video. That is a lie. Tomorrow I'm doing a live show and I will see you then. Goodbye!